This one's gonna go big! Hello and welcome back to the channel. Right then, fair play. This is territory where I have not dared to tread. I have thought about making a video about fair play, the fair play campaign, over the last couple of years, but I ultimately decided against it. I thought, you know what? I was too close to the original fair play campaign. I was too involved with it. Uh, too emotionally connected to it, I guess. I thought, you know what? Not only am I not going to be able to do this objectively, I've just got kind of too much skin in the game, as it were. I didn't want to pick at old wounds. I didn't want to kind of reignite any old rivalries. Even though it's now 16 and 17 years in the past, I just thought it was a place where I didn't want to go with a video. It didn't fit what I wanted to do for the channel. You can see... To this day, that the Wizard has his feelings about fair play. If you open up the emulator to this day, you will see the disclaimer about fair play in the opening crawl on the about screen. In fact, we'll just look at that now on the opening crawl. It cannot be used to prove fairness in any shape or form. And, and that really is a descendant, a direct descendant of when it was... It's hard to, to put into words now, like I say, the, the whole thing kicked off in 2003 and kind of um, resolved, if you can call it that, in 2004. It was a very messy, very fractious time for the Fruit Machine emulation scene, and, and I didn't want to go raking over those old coals. However, Fishter here, I think, has done a very good job of making a far more objective video about it. He's done a really good job here. He's covered a lot of the, well, all of the history, really. He's got a whole lot of archive material, up to and including Stuart Campbell's legendary appearance on the ITV programme Scam, where he famously held up a PC RAM chip and said, now, fruit machine ROM, uh, fruit machine programs come on chips like this, and even at the time, people were like that's not a fucking fruit machine ROM. Can't anyone get anything right? And I'm like, oh for fuck's sake, Ken from Basingstoke doesn't care. It's just for illustrative purposes. You see, I'm getting emotionally invested with it already. This is why I can't do a fucking video on fair play. So what I'm going to do here is hand over to Fishter. Now, I did know that this was coming because he messaged me on WhatsApp a couple of months ago. Uh, myself and Fishter here, we've kept in touch over the years. We're friends on Facebook. We've got each other on WhatsApp. And a couple of months ago, he uh, messaged me on WhatsApp with a bit of a random request saying, you haven't still got the uh, Club Tropicana layout and an emulator to run it, have you? And I'm like, I certainly have because I've like kept everything. Sent them over to him. It was like, a bit of a random ask, uh, Fishter. What do you want them for? He said, uh, I'm making a video. Can you guess what about? And I'm like, ah, yes, that'll be fair play then. And he said, yes, that's correct. So nearly two months later, he has now finished the video and uploaded it to YouTube. So if you've been around on the Fruit Machine emulation scene for long enough, you will remember. Oh my God, will you remember fair play? If you don't remember fair play, I'll tell you what, I respectfully suggest that you watch Fishter's video here. It was one of the biggest ruckuses that Fruit Machine emulation had ever seen. And it basically centered around unwinnable gambles, whereby a Fruit Machine offered the player a chance to gamble on a high-low, you know, where you go higher than a three and it spins in a two. The question always was, well, if you went higher than a three and it lost to a two, what if you'd gone lower? Would it have spun in the two? And it transpired through, through the use of uh, RAM files and rewinding RAM files. And even I went as far as actually running a very early virtual machine so that we could actually snapshot the emulator in a virtual machine. Fuck me, that ran like a pig on a single-core Windows XP desktop machine. But to actually snapshot the machine in, in the state it was in, and it kind of demonstrated what we had always suspected, but never been able to prove, that fruit machines do indeed offer unwinnable gambles. I know it seems ridiculous now to even question it. We've all known for years that fruit machines block that you will be offered gambles that simply can't be won and that kind of thing. But back in 2003, too, well, it was in 2003 where it kicked off. It was 2004 where it kind of came to a conclusion. But in 2003, this was pretty much 
headline news and a lot of people were very surprised by this quite a few people were saying oh come on for god's sake everyone this is not news everyone knew it, it was like i say it was a whole whole ruckus and i'm not going to rake it all up again and that is why i will say here that is why i have not made a video about fair play for the two years plus now that this channel has been in, in existence out of respect to, to the feelings of other people out of respect to wizard because i know it was it was a sore time for him as well and i don't want to go raking all that up however i think fishter has done a pretty good and objective job here of chronicling this period of fruit machine history Hopefully it's not going to inflame any, you know, uh, great emotions on either side. I think he's just done a good job here of archiving out a piece of Fruit Machine emulation history. And also something about Fruit Machines that many, many people back in 2003 either did not know or suspected but could not prove that Fruit Machines would ask you or invite you to undertake a gamble that you couldn't simply couldn't win whatever choice you made and i'll leave it fish to makes a very good conclusion in this video and i won't spoil it by um repeating that in this video i, I really do be sweet uh, beseech you even to watch fishter's video in full here because he's done a great job on this so I'm going to stop talking now because I'm. I, you can tell just from this intro, I'm too emotionally invested in this one. I couldn't do it properly and that's why I haven't done it over the last two years. But I'm going to hand you over to Fishter because I think he has done a good job. So all you need to do is click on the link in the description of this video and that will take you straight off here to this video that you've got running in front of you. Um... I've had it running there, obviously you can't hear the sound, I don't want to spoil any of it, he's done a great job with the commentary, there's a lot of really interesting historical archive material, very very good job of putting the video together here, and even, I don't know, I say if you do remember Fair Play, this is going to be of interest uh, to you, if you don't remember Fair Play, you don't know what Fair Play was, I think this would still be of interest to you, if you've got any kind of interest in fruit machines whatsoever, I think this video here will be worth a watch it's he's kept it fairly short as well he's better at brevity than i am i mean fucking i've been banging on for seven minutes just introducing the fucking thing and he got the whole thing done in 22 minutes so there you go time for me to stop thank you for watching this short intro please do click on the link in the description of this video and give fishter's video a watch because it really is good but that's it for me thank you and i'll catch up with you next time and goodbye